had a year's worth of rants to go, but I'll shut up now. Go. <laughs> Speaking of rants, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Wobbly Player Syndrome, a 40k podcast, episode 70. Cord, what have you done for me lately, GW? 2023 edition. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. It is the time we get to look back in the year. But first, let's look at the old folk who are here and expressing their wisdom. <laughs> Go for, thank you very much, Isabel, for the resub. 38 months. It's almost like you like us. Speaking of Isabel, Michael, say hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> Not safe work, Mark. Say hi. Politely, hey. please, for the start Hello. off early. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I hope we are doing okay. <laughs> and safe for work, Mark. How are you? <laughs> hey, everybody. And Adam, what's going on in the lounge? You're not looking like you have it tonight. I'm not in the lounge, I'm in the computer room because <gasps> Christmas lights have taken over in the lounge. Oh, there you go. There you go. And of course, I am Greg. Welcome, everyone. What a year, folks. What a year. It's exciting. We're almost done. Yeah. Almost. Definitely yeah. been a year. It's definitely been a year. It has been a year. <laughs> yep. Year that was. But we'll all talk about the year it was and say, was it good? Was it bad? Was it indifferent? What exciting adventures did we get up to? What exciting adventures did GW get up to, more importantly, because that's why we're here, because we all love them. Open sponsorship, insert here. <laughs> Please send us free stuff. <laughs> There's no sponsorship there, Twitch. No sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are attempting to stream this episode on Facebook as well. Uh, if somebody wants to reach over and see if that's working, that would be great. I'm all assuming right. that's on our public channel. Ah, yes, it is. Well, let me just see. Because, yes, yes, some of the rules have been lifted regarding Twitch. We can now multi-stream again, as long as we ah, don't nice. respond to chat in Facebook. See, yeah. it's kind of weird. Oh, okay. Also, just in also time have subtitles. Just in time. I've so actually good. got subtitles, so I'm yeah, good. Working. Oh, cool. Wonderful. Look at that. Technology. We're all over it. Hello, Book of Faces. Yeah. Insta snap face tube, I yeah, call it, and we'll Jesus pisses that the kids off. <laughs> Speaking of pisses off the kids, we should get through our regular stuff so we can talk about the cool stuff, yeah? Mm. Yeah, what's the regular stuff? Oh, Michael is just frothing at the mouth to talk about all the new releases that's happening. Do it, Michael, um, do it. Well, actually, uh, the, the, the first thing on the new releases uh, is one that I'm actually really stoked about. Uh, the they made, made like a hardcover of the Necromunda Apocrypha stuff. But more importantly, they released the Palanite, Palanite Enforcer Tauros Venator, which is fucking cool because I've wanted to buy a Tauros Venator like for about a year now. And they went out of production when they took away the Elysian drop troops. And now they're releasing plastic uh, Tauros Venators or maybe resin. And anyway, it's going to be a Necromunda thing, and I fucking ordered yeah. two of them, so I'm really stoked. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you remember like the little uh, dune buggy vehicles yeah. that the Elysian drop troops had? Yeah. Yeah, they've made that for the Palanite forces. Because I wanted one, because I was like, man, that'd be really good. Like, those vehicles would look really cool in the Ashways Necromunda. They feel yeah. right. And Games Workshop apparently agrees because they've decided to bring them back for Necromunda. Yeah, you took <laughs> off your foil hat and I heard you. Yeah. Yes. They, look, they look very similar to the Sagittor from the Legs of Voltan vehicle. Yeah. It's a similar kind of vibe. It's like... Yeah. Um, Looks cool. You know, it's a dune buggy kind of thing. Dune like the buggy. Oh, so, look. Sorry. I just saw the buddy minis just come into and said hello. Oi, oi. <laughs> Have you been in your arcs Hello. and salty defense system? Hope you're all safe. Yeah, we're all... Ah, oh, yes. With the uh, rain we're getting down on our upper east coast uh, and bushfires the other places. And, yep, summer's here. Yay. Yeah. I put a pull up and for four weeks didn't get to use it. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a hill and it's not on fire, so... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. don't have any mad crazy storms this week, so it's not too bad. Yeah, that's a nice change. That, that right. Last one we had the other week, uh, I was kind of glad I was in a newer suburb because our trees aren't that big yet. Um, yeah. Yeah. All, oh, yeah. All of our really big fucking trees fell down last storm, so we yeah. were okay this storm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I felt really bad because I was running the aircon to the max and nearly nine-tenths of my suburb had no power. So there I am in my Oof. street, lights on, TV going, streaming away with the aircon, and I see 
Oh, the ESA is dropping generators off at people's houses. Oops, I'm a bit of a dick. <laughs> uh. You're only a dick because you're going to drink in a bit cold beer in front of them as well, so suckers. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, buddy's mini's suggestion is put up a tarp and get the barbecue out. Yeah. 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 Sounds good. Yeah. Um. So then we had some 30K stuff. Uh, the Thousand Suns console for the Librarian came out. Uh, there was some Black Library books. There was some AOS stuff, the Flesh Eater Court set. There was more 30k stuff. They released some transfer sheets. They released some Middle Earth stuff, White Dwarf. There was a bunch of Christmas stuff, um, like Grotmus kits and things like that. Uh, more Black Library stuff, which was weird. Uh, some of the stuff got de- delayed. Uh, then there was a bunch of Kill Team stuff. Um, I think Salvation, is that the one with... Oh, that's a uh, pre-order with the Scouts. Scouts, and the, yeah. Um, um, the Jakara? Aspect Warriors. Aspect Warriors. Uh, Striking Jakara. Scorpions. That's the one, yeah. The new Striking, um, striking yeah. Scorpions. And new Scouts, too, yeah. I think, yeah? Yeah, think so. the new Scout sure. box. Uh, there was a bunch of Underworld stuff. Um, and then there was 40k. You got the Von Rins Leapers and Winged Tyranny Primes and Psychophages and Neurogorns. I think it's all stuff from the box set. Yeah. Um, then you got uh, another 30k console, the Alpha Legion Saboteur. And then they've done like a Blood Bowl made to order, or they're going to. Shit, did I miss that? <laughs> no, I think that's coming up still who knows oh no he's in panic yeah, mode now all the, they put up all the all the old cheerleaders and referees oh yeah that's the, been a gone the Minotaur. yeah fuck I meant to because you that. meant you talked about that last episode yeah okay I must have I must have left that on the pre-order yeah. section because those orc cheerleaders <laughs> oh sexy those uh, Christmas things they brought out, I said, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I know my son's got a, a plushie of some sort, never heard of the character. I went, oh, I might get him a, yeah, a grot one instead, or a squig. I'm not available till next year. I said, well, what's the point? <laughs> what's the freaking point <laughs> of buying Jesus a Christmas Christ. thing? So, well, it's like, one year I ordered the calendars, and I got them in, like, March. <laughs> Did you get three months rebate? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> What? The September or February or whatever it was that October, time. October, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, yeah. at least it was the right year. Yeah. yeah that's true. <laughs> you I'm, I'm it up gonna and it's for your... like 1987. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, going to do two that's two. Uh, I'm going to do a pre-order and it's going to be for an orc thing and I absolutely hate orcs for Underworlds next year. So, Ooh. hopefully that'll look... It looks... They look good. So, yeah. Oh, look... man. I've heard just a rumor about this. Yarrick is back. Who's Yarrick? <gasps> Commissar Yarrick. Old male eye. Yeah, he's not actually dead. There's a, he who fox. Yeah. Tootinous, <laughs> tootinous humey there was. So, the biggest, baddest umi. I wonder if he came back because of like emperor shenanigans or if he came back because the orcs think he shouldn't be dead. Uh, oh. So one of the biggest clues <laughs> is apparently that. in uh, the new update of um, um, Dark Tide. Uh, actually, there's a comic... Uh, conversation going on. He said, "No, he wasn't dead. He was lost in the warp, but he has been found along those okay. lines." Yeah, yeah, but yes. and, and and I choose to believe that is the orc collective psychic field not allowing him to die. Yeah, yeah, and that's the the big thing about apparently the big next big invasion, I guess after this tiny one is orcs going back to Armageddon. Gaz is just going to go right. Let's have I'll have you. Yeah, saving all his teeth to afford it all. He really loves Armageddon. Well, it gives him where the best the fight way. is. Well, yeah, there's a bunch of... They've written a bunch of weird lore about why the orcs are so weird about Armageddon. Yeah. Uh, Buddy Minis says... He always said he wasn't dead. Come on, we should be listening to Buddy Minis. <laughs> but, yeah, he plays Ultramarine, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it very much is like that. If there's no body, they're not dead. Yeah. You know? Yeah, all they found was a claw. Hang on. But it's like people who are like, oh, yeah, you know, Rogal Dawn's one of the dead Primarchs. I'm like, but they only found his hand. That that doesn't yeah. that means he's not dead. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> means nothing. I mean, he's pretty pissed off. It doesn't mean he's dead. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if they found I mean, his head... He has head... wiping now, but... Well, that was the other part of the rumour was the one of the latest uh, rumour mill photos... It's a of a storm bolter. 
and it's similar to the one that Commissar Yarrick runs around with. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm excited. I was very just sad when it didn't come out with the rules of 10th. But we should move on better. and talk about other stuff. Because <laughs> otherwise we'll go down this path and we'll never get anywhere. Alright, so now when we talk about hobby progress. Well, because I f- <laughs> thought this podcast was last week and I missed it. Oops, there's no video videos of... Um, my progress, because I've got a shit ton done. Oh, no! Save it up for next I'm, month, you'll be fine. I've, I've got a stack of Underworld's Warbands. I've polished out about um, another five. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, been okay. smashing through them. Damn. And another two in progress as well, so yeah. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Doesn't exist without picks. Is that how it's meant to be? Yeah, yeah. picks it, up, man. Yeah. It's, it's been a long, hard, fast four weeks. End of school. Oh, oh look. God. Yeah, and it is that awkward time of year where just yeah a whole lot of stuff usually gets in the way of things so my hobby progress is one photo oh no it's more than one photo if the button works no we have to go through adam's progress oh, first the there. so there we go that was my progress. there was black screen that was your progress <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> that's my that's that's my thing Get your uh, own. <laughs> so, during my studies, I did manage to quickly, uh, I mean, very quickly spray some terrain, but we can use it now, which we did in the battle report, which is coming up. And I did have to get some uh, Infernus Marines table ready for, uh, was that last weekend? The weekend before. Weekend before. Oh, weekend, weekend before. Oh, God, that's gone too quick. Um, so, I did manage to get some of those done up quite quickly. I'm waiting for them to show up to say that's the ones I did, but it's going to take they, time. They still did not have minus one to hit because their eyes didn't glow, but, uh, you know. <laughs> you don't need it with flamers, mate. <laughs> <Very true. laughs> uh, I'm waiting for it to turn up and then I'll move on to the next hobby progress. We're also padding time because um, there's not a lot of hobby progress. <laughs> Look, crates. Um, this is progress. This is progress. This, this is this all progress. This is all from the Imperial magazine as well. So I've actually finally painted some of that stuff because I was... Oh, that's not. That's from something else. Um, but Well, you certainly painted it a lot more than I have. Like, I started painting most of my Imperium stuff, but most of it's, like... There! There they are! The first ones! Best. They're not finished, you can see. But that was they got them table ready for the match. Now, the Christmas battle that was meant to be last weekend has also been postponed to January. But we'll <laughs> talk about that later. Uh, Anthony's not here, but he has been doing a hobby. He's been very busy. He has been doing more Blood Angels. I don't know. He must have, I don't know. He really likes investment in red. red. Yeah, exactly. Right? He's got more of those, I don't know what I'm they're called, the sniper ones. Uh, yeah. The Eliminators. The Eliminators, more of the Infiltrators, or the Incursors. Uh, but he has been going yeah, quite heavily. Which is great that he's posting them all up. It gives me a preview of what he's bringing to the Christmas battle. So thank you. <laughs> Surprised he didn't put. He's also got a war band, um, an underworld war band that he's painting. I'm surprised yeah. he didn't put it up there. Yeah, it was a really good one. He did, and that was last month. Oh fuck you, lot then. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, that's you. Yeah, I'm um, just trying to get back into painting the lion. Um, now that I've got some black, so I was just like trying to get as much done as I could while I was waiting for the black that I can actually get onto painting the bugger now. Hopefully yeah. before the end of the year, depending on life. I will finish him. Yeah, it's a cool mini. It's one of those minis that I would like to own, even though it's not the right chapter. But it's just so. Too how did good. you wind up coming to the decision on the head? Um, it looks sick, and not wearing helmets <laughs> is for losers. <laughs> yeah, but, but but the hood was pretty. The cool. hood I mean, one. I mean, cool. He's got to match this one. He's got his helmet on too. Fair enough. Safety first. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, stack that on. I like, it did take me a long time to decide which helmet, which head to put on him. Yep. But I basically just decided that I liked the helmets. Helmets any day of the week. Helmets, if you helmets or paint eyes. Yeah. Helmets it is. Yeah, yeah, crazy helmet. eyes. Is, yeah. <laughs> or, no, I cheat and just used a, a glowy color of some sort, and they're demon possessed. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Librarians are easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> Undead work great. They just do blood red, uh, ghost, uh, the, the, all the, the horror green colours. Yeah, that works. Yeah, when I was a teenager and I was playing Undead, I used to just like put a lick of red paint inside yeah. there and just rub it off with my th- thumb. <laughs> that works yeah. too. It works. 
Uh, Bobby Minis. It was easy picking Bobby's head. What? GS head. He has a GS yeah, head? Yeah, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby G's head. Oh, Bobby G's head. head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bobby, I don't know where the unhelmeted one is. Yep, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I went helmeted too. Same. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, nah, robot gets a helmet. Everybody I've gets got, a helmet. And Pyro Magazine sent me minus Calgo and he went, no, oh, he doesn't have a helmet. Oh, damn it. Got to do his face deliberately but, and purposely. But he does only have one actual eye, so... It still leaves never, one other eye. <laughs> you never wind up with crazy eyes because he's just looking in whatever <laughs> munted direction you happen to paint on there. Oh, just green stuff, a patch. <laughs> mm. It's really concentrating. Cool. All right. Just green stuff for helmet. Cowgirl yeah. does come with a helmet, right? Well, th- 3D print. Uh, I don't think don't so. Think. Don't think so. Uh, uh, unless the new one comes with one. Uh, but I don't know. Historically, he hasn't. Look, i got to be honest, I didn't look that close. I saw Cowgirl! Oh, I just threw it aside. So, yeah, i got to work out how I'm going to convert him to be a, a champion of the Salamanders instead. Any <laughs> green? Yeah, That's pretty I don't much know it. what I'm... Yeah. I just still don't know what I'm going to do with all those, like, Ultramarine characters. Like, I didn't need a second Bobby G uh, yeah. from the magazine. So I'm like, what do I want this for? <laughs> yeah, the magazine. Yeah, Bobby G's coming. All right. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I did cool. See really I'll make him cool... turn him into a Vulcan. It'd be great. There's a really cool <laughs> Chaos conversion for Bobby G getting around on the interwebs. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing here someone has built him with a helmet. Okay. So I think he actually does come with a helmet in the new kit. Look, I could get up and look, but I'm not going to. I, I don't expect <laughs> you to use your legs. No, no, I wouldn't even have to do that. Just turn the chair. It's even worse. <laughs> Remove the camera slightly in the background. Uh, he gets a helmet if you get the box. So there you go. Maybe my version didn't. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's not in there. I mean, yeah. it comes with the Victrix Honor Guard, so I it assume does. the rest of it's in there. I don't know. It's moving on. Battle reports. Come on, let's do it. Look at all the battle reports we did. Yeah. We do have I played some. a bunch of Rogue Trader. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Wonderworld. At the start of... Well, there you go. At, at, at the start of um, 9th of December, um, we originally were going to have a tournament that had um, been postponed. So I went, Ah, oh, Adam, you want to play three games for in one day? No. And I stupidly said, Sure, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. And we paid for it. <laughs> mm. uh, the first match uh, was your Chaos Demons. There they are. And my Chaos Knights. Um, that was the game that actually ran on time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that. Yeah. Talk yeah, about it. angered the gods after that. Oh, it's all right. We made up for the next two. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say. So, so this one was the one that I, I went... If I'm gonna face Chaos Demons, like Deem, uh, Chaos Knights Demons will be my big one. I should be able to handle everything, and I I practically did, except for failing my charges. Yeah, yeah that hurt. Um, so yeah, the the premise of this was uh, we both brought three armies, three factions, and we actually rolled to see who would play against each other. So we didn't know the matchups until just before the game. And yes, we rolled the Chaos Demons and the Chaos Knights. First up, there are Chaos Knights. It's not all about the demons. Hurry up, picture. Change. <laughs> um, so that was, yeah, it worked out nicely. Big giant knights versus big giant demons. Um, yeah. It looked good I on the sh- table. I, sh- I stupidly went tactical. I should have gone fix. Would have been a different story. But yeah, the uh, big demons did what the big demons were supposed to do. Oh, shit. Land. Oh, my God. Land and shred everything in front of them. But yeah, they have to make their uh, their charges to shred. Uh, was this the Duck Titan battle? No, the Duck Titan battle is coming up next. <laughs> so that will make sense soon, folks. Uh, I'm just wanting right. to show that they were Chaos Knights. I'm sure they'll come up and say, look, there they are. And Adam doesn't want to know about them, but. I'd like to show them off. Uh, it was the first chance I got to use the new scenery that I did paint up. Look, there's knights. Told ya. And I did have some Chaos Demons, uh, uh, Prince, Demon Princes with wings as support. They help. They help a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, because they can tidy up those little things that the knights can't just can't do those actions and things like that. I did go with fixed. 
I think it's the only way to play with knights is go fix, because if you do an action with them, it means they can't use all their guns. Which makes them pretty pointless. So, that was our first game. It ran on time. We had no technical issues. Everything was smooth and sweet. Uh, I'm not sure I believe that. No, no, no. <laughs> it's alright. It, this one worked. <laughs> uh, it, it did end up being a very one-sided scoreline. Uh, the Chaos Knights did end up 72 to 33. Uh, but that Shalaxi, I'm not a fan of Shalaxi. She just goes, I'm going to kill you, and she does. And then she goes, I'm going to kill you next, and she does. <laughs> she hits and I, No, don't forget, and I'm going to kill you. Oh, no, I can't get into charge. Oh, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> so then we randomised the next two matches. So the three uh, the three factions I brought, Salamanders, Chaos Knights, and Death Guard. Adam brought... Chaos Demons, Chaos Space Marines, and World Eaters. So the Chaos Space Marines were the Black Legion, because Abaddon was there, leading the charge. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, I think that's the next match. No, we've got World Eaters up. Okay, not in order. So the last match of the day. Hang on, I'm going to do this. There we go, the second match of the day. <laughs> the Salamanders came out to play. Now this is where I had to get those Infernus Marines sorted out so they're on the table ready. And this was a bit of a preview of what I was going to bring to the Christmas battle. So Anthony, if you're watching, look away now. Um... So the Christmas battle is Blood Angels Salamanders. We do that with Anthony every year. It was good. Um, this is my first run of the Salamanders for 10th edition. And we did, I brought Adrax, Envelk, and Hestown. I was like, well, going to bring them. Going to bring them all. And of course, Land Raider, Redeemer. I try to fit in as many Flamers and Melters as I have. Because, you know, it's Salamanders. And I did try that Fire Strike Detachment. So call it detachment. Yeah. 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 But now you're telling the story. Uh, which means all their weapons become assault. That is pretty nifty. Because that means I get up to the field very quickly can still shoot even with the eradicated weapons and stuff. It's it's a beautiful thing. And I'm no, they to... suck. <laughs> uh, and and uh, had some fun with the new uh, stratagems where I can jump out of a. If you target my vehicle, I jump out and shoot you first. <laughs> so that was fun to do that. There's probably other things I could have done as well. I am padding time so you can get to see the Chaos Legion. <laughs> this is a very slow video. I can't even speed it up. Sorry, folks. That, that um, Redeemer there that you had, too many guns. Oh, Pretty my God. The shooting. Yeah, so the... What is it called? It's the Redeemer? For Repulsa. The, execu- the Repulsa yeah. Executioner? Is yeah, yeah. Normal Repulsa. Uh, that is the Executioner Repulsa. Yeah, see? See, that's kind of Cole's uh, MO, is that he just hot glues guns to stuff. Yeah, yeah. It is too it's many what guns. You do. Mm. Far, far too many weapons on it. I agree. Because I just go, when am I going to stop rolling? And because it was the first time I had to look it up. What are those dudes on the right with the last cannons? They were a Devastator squad. Yes, I went old school. Devastator squad with two less cannons and two multi melters. So Which that. also suck. <laughs> Unusual. Usually you go four of the same. No, I gotta have multi melters because the salamanders, but I only had two. <laughs> so I'll, I'll put something else in. Yep. And Just here comes up. the Black Legion. Boom. Change that. Everyone listening to the podcast, this is thrilling for you. There you go. Black Legion. Your turn. <laughs> So I guess the moral of the story is we should probably make them separate videos next time. <laughs> yeah. So I had Abaddon there, I had a Chaos Terminator, I had Lord of Discordant on his Hell Strider or whatever it is. He actually went quite well, I have to I have to admit. He he did take out your bikes quite well. Yeah. Um, my four fiend at the back kinda of like went splat turn one. Um and yeah, didn't really do well. My rolls were not very... I, I could not save anything. If my saves were at one, I probably would not... I probably The dice would be, stay constantly cocked. <laughs> new dice, was that? New dice syndrome? No, no, these were the old dice. Oh, right. um, but yeah, they were just like absolutely terrible. I just could not roll to save my life. 
Which wouldn't have helped because it looks like it's a very small army. Very uh, small. For the dice guards. Um, five man squads and stuff like that. I had terminators which survived the obliterators, you know. It, but after the turn one, when you have no heavies left, you kind of like go, good game. Yeah. Yeah, I got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you have no heavies and that repulsor tank of ridiculousness, it, yeah, it makes it challenging. Hmm. Very hard. Yeah. So, it was a fun game. It was a fun game. It was a quite a good little uh, matchups going on in there. Um, those obliterators were annoying. Uh, so that ended up being a, a seventy-eight thirty-one to Salamanders. Um, it does look like mm. a small army when you look at it like that. It's crazy. Yeah, oh, especially compared to how many bodies you had in yours. Yeah, yes. I went. I generally yeah. go heavy infantry, uh, he- infantry heavy in my space marine armies. So it's just yeah. it's just weird to see salamanders almost be a bit like orcs in their number Swarm. advantage. Yeah. yeah. So the third well, game was the leftovers, the world eaters versus death guard. So two chaos brothers having a good fun. This is you, Adam, not me. I'm yeah. gonna shut up. So this one, you know, um, the the magic dice are actually really good. You roll eight dice, and then you pick doubles and stuff like that. So, oh my god! Of, so disgusting. Uh, sorry, not disgusting results. Just your <laughs> feel no pain. I practically had feel no pain right from turn one, right for the entire game, and sustain uh, lethal hits. And yeah, it was, and I was able to advance and charge so everything was well for practically the entire game so before turn uh, turn one i was there i was in melee and yeah the the poor what was yours what, what were death they guard. death guard kind of like handled it but they didn't really like it very well um yeah it came down it came down to like five points i think at the end and it was only because i rolled three sixes on my magic dice and brought angron back which dropped in a corner and got the um, corner edges, which got me the points. It was really, really close. Yeah, so I did take my death guard. You know, the only faction that doesn't have feel no pain or disgust and resilience. Fucking, fucking, fucking. <laughs> so, yeah, frustrating. Uh, they take that off them. Yeah, they don't have any disgust and resilience. Oh, sorry, I can spend two CP to give one unit disgust and resilience for a phase. Uh, I love that disgusting resilience has gotten disgusting in the other direction now. <laughs> uh, it's just, yeah, it, it was... Uh, I man, could not I kill these guys. Oh, Here's my Death Guard army off. now. So we did have Mortarian in there. Too. It's a pretty typical list um actually no i had four units of five um plague marines which you don't usually see them um rhinos are in there um yeah it's mort yeah get nice and close say hi mort uh blight drones uh they're all the usual thing and i just could not make him dead <laughs> Angron did everything. Angron just jumped in between all these uh, heavies and just meleeed the heavy and jumped to the next one and jumped to the next one. He just did yeah. everything. I tried a Hellbrute. I haven't run a Hellbrute for a very, very long time. He will not be run again. Because <laughs> what is he <laughs> stuck against? One. A rhino or something? And we yeah. just couldn't destroy the rhino? I like, come on! Come on! Is that just bad luck? Like, he's got a multi-melter and a power fist, doesn't he? How did he not kill a rhino? Feel no pain, feel no pain, feel right. no pain. <laughs> and he it's was true. rolling really well for those feel no pains. Well, yeah, that, that sounds he, like a he luck problem. Missed, not a... He did miss two games worth of like charges and saves to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he <laughs> saved it up. <laughs> uh, so this was the duck battle that Buddy Minis mentioned before. Uh, we had two very big wooden ducks on the battlefield. Unfortunately, we didn't take any photos of the actual matches. You had just watch the stream this is the stream we had a lot of technical issues uh the third, second one we had uh um we lost the internet dropped out so that was pretty cool yeah. um so, yeah and then, it, said, then the it went downhill game, from there and then it went downhill from there but but we had some cold beers so we lived we, we lived we survived 
Mm -hmm. And yes, this battle was very close. It ended up being 61 to 59 world mm. eaters. All right, very, I forgot through that. Oh my God, that took forever. Photos, not video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm worn out. Let's have that small unpaid break and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes. Yeah, or well you just call it like booze break. Booze <laughs> break. But it's only 30 seconds. We need longer than that for a booze break. Ah, uh, you can get one out of the esky. <laughs> it's good about being prepared, right? Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. You are here. The Wobby Player Syndrome podcast. You love it. Otherwise, why are you here? So, it's December. We go through this every year. We look back at the year that was and we give as much salt as we can to the hobby. Actually, this year wasn't too bad, was it? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm convinced! <laughs> well, Rogue, Rogue Trader came out on time, so I guess I've got no reason to be salty. <laughs> Fair enough. First up, what we do is at the January mark, we do a, a podcast and we call it Looking Into the Warp, where we give our predictions of what we expect to happen in the year I think it's safe to say I got every one of mine I'm sure but Michael has the list of our predictions and we'll go through how close we actually were uh, right, do so you have them by person is that it? Do I do I've got them listed by person okay um, so my predictions were that 10th Ed would come out maybe around the middle of the year uh, that I wanted my fucking lion to come out uh, and I was hoping that there would be weird shit for Space Hulks in the Arcs of Omen, like some Blackstone Fortress models. Um, I wanted more Guard Regiments, which I was expecting they would probably do using Kill Team. Uh, and I wanted them to bring back Exodites, you cowards. <laughs> <laughs> so, you done all right. I, def I definitely got Tenth and the Lion. Yep. Um, there was, like, had, like, um, when did the... Rough Riders and shit come out. Yeah, this is that just this before year? 10th dropped, yeah, I think. Yeah, and the so Krieg had, models. Yeah. Did, had the Krieg models already come out? Or was I basing my prediction on the Krieg models? Not sure, but you've got a big well done from Buddy Minis there. <laughs> yeah. They didn't bring back Exodites, and we didn't get... Literally. I was kind of hoping they would use the Arcs of Omen to introduce like a Monstrous Arcanum style. Yeah. Here's some weird shit you can run you can ally into your armies or like a weird imperial agents but for weird space yeah. hulk shit well, I, think, I was hoping for something like that and that never came around I think overall the arc zone became a non-event they didn't really do anything with the storyline it's just sort of I mean yeah. you bite your fucking tongue they did some nah. pretty, pretty big stuff with nah. the arcs of home storyline they, they introduced like a new demigod and the lion came back nah so nothing of importance and fucking Angron came back. <laughs> My biggest question is, where were they? Just sitting in a park holding hands eating ice cream, or were they doing something important? Uh, they're, um, on their, they're on their gap year in the uh, Eye yeah, of the, Terror. The, the lion was having a slep. The other primates. Yeah. yeah, the lion was having a slep, and um, angry, angry Ron had been banished and came back. He got better. He got better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, they've only been him for like 300 years or something, and that yeah. doesn't take very long. Yeah, right. Nishi's ice cream came back to play. Yeah. So, you got two out of the five that you had there? It's not a bad start? Yeah, I mean, arguably three out of the five, if they, you know, with more regiment kits. Right. Three out of the five with an yeah. asterisk. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, Greg, Greg predicted that we probably wouldn't get 10th because of the Arcs of Omen, uh, but maybe we would get it for Christmas 2023. Uh, you predicted a Dark Mechanicus Codex. Uh, some new some new marine troop choices. Maybe a close combat Dreadnought Redemptor. Uh, there would be a, a new Marines book. Um, you mm -hmm. know, that's a safe prediction. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you wanted more of the Salamanders characters to become Primaris. Uh, you predicted the return of Detachment Madness. Uh, you predicted actually... that we do have a lot of detachments now yeah um you predicted that warhammer plus would stay lame <laughs> um you predicted that imperial want imperial agents to not be shit yeah. um 
That's a you want. Wanted, it's not a prediction. That's a want. You you wanted uh, Warhammer Plus to work properly. And but you also you expect him to stay shit. Combat boxes. So he's mixing up the predictions and the wants. The predictions. This is what I actually think will happen. And the want list is the yeah the dreams. Every every, yeah. every t- person prediction 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 want. Yeah. Like, so we're just working on the predictions at the moment. So the five predictions were twentieth edition's not coming out. Nailed it. <laughs> Even I knew that was bloody happening. Well, to be honest, um, I was sort of banking on Games Workshop being kind of shitter than they've turned out to be. Actually, <laughs> well, yeah, I still game. feel that Tenth Edition came out a lot earlier than they planned. Well, yeah, um, I leak. had I had the earliest prediction for Tenth. Like I predicted middle of the year. Um, and you pretty much got it. Greg predicted Christmas. Anto predicted October, um, and you predicted it wouldn't happen. Maybe next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought they would. I thought they would just keep doing the drip feed out yeah. into oblivion, like they do for everything else. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I agree with Greg. It kind of was still a surprise when it came. Like. Yeah. Um, so did I get an E yeah. right? Uh yeah. You got um the close combat redemptor. Sweet. And the new marine book. Well, that was still based on ninth edition, thinking they were going to get a one anyway. So yeah. Yeah, and I mean, Warhammer Plus is still lame, <laughs> yeah. um, and Detachment Madness is making a comeback. <laughs> so that makes it four. Oh. Yeah, you made way more predictions than me, though. Oh well. I mean, you, but... you also had you also had the wrongest one. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Mark said he was going to come out next year. So. <laughs> You, you predicted that it wouldn't come out because Ark of Omen was too important and it would get pushed back. <laughs> well, what did I say about Ark of Omen? Nothing important happened in there. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, safe for work, Mark, predicted that we would not see 10th Ed, that it would happen <laughs> in January 2024. Uh, he predicted another Primark. Um, too cowardly to name them. Uh, <laughs> that there would be more firstborn moved to Legends. So that was very much right on the money. That the creep would continue. And the next ones are wants. We'll just start with the predictions, eh? Hey? Yeah, I want I want all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. wants is different with crews. So wrong with the when it was released. Right with the Primark. Right Ask, with the firstborn. All right with the firstborn. Um, well, we and, technically uh, had two Primarchs come back this year. Doesn't yeah, count as true. two rights. Yeah, Chaos <laughs> Primarchs don't count. <laughs> So we get three as well. But we got none then. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nicely like, played. I have, have two of him. <laughs> yeah. So you're about two. Was it two or three? In yours? I mean, there was. They were mostly uh, other than the tenth. There, they were pretty much. They were mostly all on. Ah. Um, some of them were safe bets, though. Like firstborn. Some firstborn would get moved to legends, and that you know, Games Workshop would have power creep. <laughs> we All right, what's next? Those. Well, I thought I thought tenth being delayed out till next year was a pretty safe bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we were we were really split down the middle as to whether tenth would come out this year. Yeah. Um, Anto predicted that tenth ed would be around September October. Mm-hmm. Uh, he predicted that we would see a Blood Angel or Dark Angel or both Codex and boxed set. Oh. Um. Did we get that? I mean, we got um, uh, the no, we got like a bunch of Dark Angel box sets for the, the Lion and um, Azrael, but everything is really more a battle box. I think it's morning, yeah. Um, and, and, and your Codex was all just was delayed. Space Marines, yeah. wasn't it? But, yeah, but our Codex was like next year. But isn't every blood every Space Marine battle box Blood Angel? According to him. <laughs> yeah, you spray it red, then it becomes Blood Angels. Yeah, so but there was, well, I think it was Christmas last year with that, the Imperial Fist box and the Salamander box. and Yeah. yeah. He was actually like, the rest of his stuff, like his two wants, he got both of them. Um, and his other prediction was that the drip feed would continue. Uh, I'm hard pressed to think of a single thing where the drip feed didn't continue. Yeah, so yeah, safe yeah. bets are all around. We've all got at least one safe bet in there. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> you can argue that uh, the tenth ed drip feed did not continue, but the rest of them did. 
Yeah. Old world is still being dripped with the finest of feeds. <laughs> uh, what else you got? Really milk um, here's a wants. No, no predictions. Just to serve the predictions. Uh, I don't think we had um, uh, not safe work, Mark. So it was just the four of us. No. I was yeah. not. I was camping away from the technology, so I missed out. Oh, quick! Use your January. predictions now. <laughs> Wait till the ending. Yeah. G Dub's <laughs> gonna get money off us. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we're all spread out with the uh, 10th Ed. Well, spoiler work, 10th edition came out this year, folks. Um, what? I did notice. <laughs> yep. Yeah, 10th yeah, tenth Ed, tenth Ed came out this year. Uh, congratulations to her. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second. <laughs> uh, but our wants list, surely we, we were right on the money with our wants. I wanted um, more salamanders. Of course, we got more of that. I I got a lion. You got a lion. I, uh, I did not get Exodites because Games Workshop are cowards. Uh, they did bring out a TV series called The Exodite, but it's not. It's about, about towel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My reaction to the to finding out about that kind of speaks for itself. Yeah, I was so Funny. so flabbergasted. About that. <laughs> um. So Greg's wants were he wanted Sally's to Sally characters to become Primaris. Uh, you wanted Imperial Agents to not suck, keep wanting. Uh, you <laughs> wanted Warhammer Plus to work properly, and you wanted good combat boxes. Yeah. So um, the assassins aren't that shit anymore in tenth. Hmm. Yeah. The fact that you can only use a limited number of them as an ally, so you can't. You can never play all four of them if you're going by the rules. You can't play all four of them at the same time. Which yeah, doesn't that cause some kind of singularity? <laughs> Maybe that's it. They're trying to save us all. Um, but yeah, I was going to... Uh, hope he's not listening. I was going to try and run a couple uh, for the Christmas panel. But yeah, we'll see. I have to give it a, a hewn of green on them to allow it. <laughs> Well, if they've got any, like, uh, you know, if they've got any screens on them, paint those screens. That's it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Safe Work Mark wanted the Legion of the Damned. Oh, uh, yeah, He nice. wanted a non-bullshit Loyalist Primark. <laughs> uh, which I did get. Which I did get. Technically. And he wanted to flesh out some of the armies with small unit choices, which they claim they're doing. <laughs> Like, they've said there's going to be more Votan releases when their Codex comes out, but, you know, that's not coming out for a billion years. So, yeah, I haven't really seen it. edition. Yeah. They're the new sisters, are they? <laughs> well, they got everyone at the start. That's what they wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're cool models. They just don't have a lot of options. No. Um, although they did add some more to it with uh, the Kill Team stuff. The Kill Team one Stupid really helmet cool. models. Yeah, then they, then they made the Kill Team... Uh, Gatling cannon, the best weapon option for warriors, which is frustrating. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so, yeah, you know, you got you got some of those. You got a non bullshit Primark. Um, You're wrong. <laughs> there's no bullshit about him. <laughs> we didn't we didn't get the Legion of the Damned, which is sad. Yep. It, it, but realistically, that was that is probably never happening. I found it interesting um just random sideways jump because my meds have worn off um i was listening to the end of the death volume 2 today and there's a section in there that made me think of the legion of the damned like the emperor is controlling some of his dead custodies as puppets and they basically are like fiery retributive angels and i was like man is this like what the legion of the damned is supposed to be now mm. it's like dead marines that he's controlling with his will Le like, so, so Custodes, Legion of the Damned. Well, Jesus. yeah, it's just like the, the way these Custodes were acting, I was like, they are basically Legion of the Damned here. Um, is this suggesting that they will bring them back and this will be the new law, basically, that they're undead marines that he's kind of, you know, he, he's he, the way, like they literally are demons, mm. basically. I it's just thought it was an interesting side note that I was reminded of by the mention of the Legion of the Damned. Um back to our regularly scheduled program uh, Anto wanted Primaris Marine Assault Troops and he wanted a Primaris Dante <laughs> he, got, got both. Both. He, got everything. 
Good yeah. price there. Yeah. Yeah. him. Uh, he also wanted less bolt gun variants, which he got. Got that all the too. Yeah. <laughs> and those were his only two wants. <laughs> <laughs> So he got well, he's done well. <laughs> he's done wow. well. well. There you go. That's not bad effort. Uh, we, we think we'd be getting better at this after count how many years? Uh, six years of doing this. Um, yep. I'm, yep. I'm surprised I got as many as I did. Yeah. Should we go? Through, should we go through the goals? The goals. Oh, do we predict there goals for ourselves? Down goals as well. Oh shit! I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> oh man, I I absolutely shit the bed at my goals. <laughs> uh, let's do the goals, and then we'll talk about the actual year it was in a bit more detail. Cool. Uh, so my first goal was I wanted to finish painting my fourth company. That didn't happen. <laughs> Actually, they're mostly done. Um, I wanted to paint more squats. Well, I painted two squads this year yep that's more um, i wanted to play more games i mean i'm not the bottom of the ladder because i played more than three games this year yeah but yeah. um arguably that's not much better uh, i also wanted to clear some hobby space for games with my boys and that dining room table is still covered in shit that's why you've been playing outside right yeah, I've been playing on the back patio because I still haven't managed to clean the inside of the house where I can use it. At least the weather's uh, nice. Yeah. So I, I pretty much didn't really accomplish any of those unless I'm willing to, to jank it. <laughs> you did more squats. Oh, look, I got I, I rules as written got them, but I yeah, did not rules as, rules as intended. intended. <laughs> um, Tournament, you so, did well. So, Greg, you wanted to finish off your Thousand Suns. No. Nah. <laughs> you wanted to finish all your Chaos Knights. Yes. You wanted to start a White Scars army. Nope. You wanted mm. to film more stuff on Twitch. Hmm. And you wanted to post more stuff on RLG. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the studying has impacted that. Yes, yes. Yeah, this year has really impacted a lot of things. Yeah, but I did finish my Chaos Knights. That is a tick. <laughs> and so, drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't drop me. I'm supposed to keep talking. Um, so, safe work, Mark. You wanted to paint your last four models? No. <laughs> no. You wanted to, you wanted to play oh, some actually, games? Actually, hang on. Hang on. I painted one of them. That's I, not I, four. I, yeah, I, I, I think there's only two left. No, that's a good goal for next year. <laughs> I, 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 I got halfway. That that that's good for Half me. Half a tick. <laughs> Even I painted more than four models. Um, Even I painted to more be than fair, one models. of them was a Tyrannofex, which is a huge thing. Yeah. True. <laughs> uh, you also wanted to play some games. Or yeah, I, I played some games, which is good. You wanted to buy some more models, maybe Custodies or Nids. Yeah, no, that that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, and you wanted you wanted to find more time from hobby for hobby. Well, you kind of did the opposite of that. Yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah. I, I did build a house, and I'm still kind of partway through that process. <laughs> which is why I don't have Rogue Trader, which hurts. Makes me sad. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Um, so Anto wanted to investigate a more shooty army. Such well, he got rid of a couple. Of he got rid of a couple of armies this year. Yeah. He wanted. He was thinking about Dark Adnek or Tau. And he wanted to do more stuff in the hobby, such as conversions, green stuff, and airbrushing. He's done a lot of conversions. Yeah, but he hasn't touched the airbrush that I know of. No. Yeah. We could say anything. He's... He can't defend himself. But he has <laughs> done some conversions because I have printed him. Um, some spears which he's put on them and stuff like that. Yeah, if you look at his Instagram, uh, Ball Dust 40k, you'll see some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. So some of us got some of our goals. Yeah. Uh, really got all of them. It's good that we aim high. Yeah. <laughs> Note to self: January, uh, look into the warp. Low goals. <laughs> Low yeah. goals. <laughs> Yeah, see, everybody was at me because four models, oh, you'll knock that out in no time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, so, yeah. 
My Look. next one will be a, a ripper, and that will take me six months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, okay, so that was us personal, which is what all the listeners are here wanted to know all about us. I get it. I've met me. Um, but what about the hobby itself? We did have 10th edition drop. Good, bad, and different. We, we, I think we agreed we felt it was a rushed launch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now, we do have an episode, I think we've done a full reflection of 10th, so we won't go too deep. Um, how was it handled? <laughs> Screaming dog turd isn't about normal. I mean, I think tenth is actually is not a bad rule set. I think um, it's a good set. Yeah. Some some of it's like it's pretty good, but some of the indexes are not great. So, I was talking about the the release itself for our local friendly gaming stores it was not a happy time. Yeah, they really fucked that up. Yeah. Uh, for anyone going direct from GW, not a problem. Like They seem to have stock. In the end, they did seem to have stock, but they mucked around a lot of people. It's because they took it from the from the secondary stores. Yeah. Yep. Did a hard reset by making indexes for all factions. Last time they did that, was that 8th? Yeah, it was 8th. You had to buy the indexes to start playing. Mm. Not this time. No, them being free was like a nice surprise. That was, we better check if this is the reality we all know because GW is not asking <laughs> for money. <laughs> and they released them early as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah true. that's true. But I think that's where I felt that it was more rushed because I think they were trying to stop all the leaks and the rumours. Quick, just get and it out, just get it out. Leaks were yeah. plenty. Reddit was flooded in so many subreddits of all in there. Like they yeah, had well, to, wasn't to the, do the, it. The, uh, the tenth ed rule book was out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And I, I, I managed to get hold of the rule book early. I, yeah, Mike and I, I think you and I both got it at the same time. And yeah. then I saw it pop up and pop up and pop up and pop up. It's like, well, they have to recover themselves somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Like the next day, I was watching the the threads appear and get deleted oh, by yeah. the admins on Reddit just in real yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> and go get it here. We're popping in and out. And so yeah, that that I think. That was just a chaotic, let's try and get some control back. Mm. And it's understandable. They lost it, and they had to try and get it back somehow. Yeah, they are a business, and they do need to have financial... Mm. Um, because, yeah, their models are pretty cheap, so they have to make their money somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I imagine there was a, a, a bit of a night of the long knives about, about who had access to that book, though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Mike's worried about it. They did find it. It was one of the guys at the publishing firm uh, let out the OEM uh, onto Reddit. Oh wow! wow. So not a nice. GW staff member. There was a publisher. It wasn't a GW staff member. From from what I saw on Reddit, and you, know, you take Reddit with a grain of salt, but this yep. was one of the more reliable sources for leaks, news, gossip, whatever. It was a publisher file because the metadata was um, showed that it had left and gone to a publisher. Oh, well, huh. pour one out for that poor fired bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz I, I imagine <laughs> the conversation went um you you need to sack this guy. Yeah. And they're going to go what are you going to do about it? Uh find and a different go, publisher. Well, we yeah. got all these lawyers over here that say you should. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there was controversy and drama about the release itself. Yes. The hard reset um I think for most players, not a problem. For the Imperial Guard and World Eaters, maybe a problem. Because yeah, they had just bought their upset. codex like mm. weeks yeah. Games. beforehand. Yeah. yeah, it's Yeah, it was a bit rough. Yeah. Um, but then again I, I, I seem to remember a certain release of eighth having a similar kind of thing. There's always it always happens to someone. It will yeah, yeah, yeah. it will always. And I think that's the, the really good thing they did with the, the index is that they were free. So you didn't yeah. actually have to buy them. You could wait. Once your codex is released, aha, now I need to invest. So I had something to play with until then. Um, it's just a bit hard on the guard. And Literally, and, yeah. until then, when your new codex comes out, they delete the indexes from their website. <laughs> Correct. So that hasn't changed. 
yeah. the the paywall behind their their application is still there absolutely as soon as something's been replaced you no longer have access to an index version of them bang don't it think we're surprised by that right it it doesn't surprise me um but it was still unexpected like it it makes sense i'm like yeah actually of course they did that but i wasn't expecting them to do it so oh, I did. <laughs> oh, well, it's fully, yeah, so know, I was just like, well, you know, it's like how they didn't fucking pull the indexes off the shelves. You know, I, I was like, they're old rules. They usually don't care that much about old rules. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, even if they left them up and they were free, um, they'd still be you'd... shit. Yeah, because, <laughs> because you'd be like, well, you're going to have to pay for the good rules. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I expected that they would get rid of uh, stuff with details, keep the bare skeleton even less than what was up there and and go, yeah, you want the good shit? Here's the good shit. So, I love Australia. Just sitting here and went, what's something's on my leg? Fucking spider. <laughs> <laughs> I love when it gets hot. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, what a surprise that all space brains all the same. Mm. Um, Chaos will be this, is all the same and things like that. That was strange. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect to see. I think the biggest one I didn't see um, the boys in blue just becoming a generic non-event space I brain chapter. I didn't see it coming, but I can understand why they did it because it comes a bucket load cheaper. I mean, it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, Back. I mean. Back in the day. Oh, yeah. Back, back in the day, there in, was no in, difference. In second edition, it was Codex Ultramarines. Yep. No? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was no Space Marine Codex. I have it up, <laughs> up on my shelf back there, yeah. buried next to my Fallout box. But, yeah. Yeah, like, Chapter Tactics was, like, what, 5th Ed or something? It came out much later yeah. than bloody... Not, not that old shit, it is that old. I was about to say, it's not that old. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but that was a surprise. As you said, it's not unheard of, but um, I didn't see it coming. That, you know, Salamanders lose their... We, I think we talked about this too. They lost their flavour because there's no Salamander chapter. Well, there's a detachment that they can use, but any coloured yeah. marine can use the same detachment. Well, I mean, they've probably listened to too many podcasts complaining about how people just paint their models however they like and use whatever chapter tactics they like. Yeah. <laughs> and that's fine. If you think about it, though, so was, was like how the game was originally anything. done, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a great point, though. Yeah, if Instead of trying to force people to know you must have green marines, let's just make it that way. I mean, that's fair. Well, means... that, that was why you had the, the missing legions, so that you could make your own. Yeah. Mm. Unless you wanted Legion of the Damned. Um, They're also missing now, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look, the new detachment as well, is like, uh, I know that Anthony's done this, is he's got a full Phobos detachment, so you can do the, whatever that detachment's called. Um, Vanguard, I think it is. And then he's done a full... Uh, Gravis. Gravis, thank you. Which is more... The Imperial Fist one? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So you have those differences, which smart move by GW. I need to buy more Marines to make this deployment work. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Let me guess back in the day, you had that weird Predator one that required you to buy like five of them or whatever. I mean, I have multiple squadrons of different variants of Predators. Like, I think I've got three or four squads of Predators. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so he would have, in seventh, you would have been like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, back <laughs> then, I was, I was playing Apocalypse. I was running squadrons of Predators in the formations that was, you know, the Predators with the Land Raider in the same squad as them. Mm. With Tech Marines. Yep. So, so many tech marine models. It was hilarious because you had the land raider in front of the predators, so the land raider had to get shot because it was the closest model, and you had the tech marine in the land raider repairing it from the inside. 
see him, I can see him winding down the window well, trying to fix the wiper. Well, someone's <laughs> complaining about getting how many las cannon shots on whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right. So quickly, tenth edition. What's worked this year with it? Because we have done a, a full episode of talking about tenth, so I don't want to go down that path again. We'll do that next. What week. works? The flow. I like the flow, except for when you face shooting armies. Yeah, I think if you're a melee army, you can have a little issues. If you're a melee army, you just start picking up models, but the flow, <laughs> it flows. I, I like um, the way they've changed secondary objectives. Like Secondary objectives in ninth, I wasn't a huge fan of. I prefer the fixed versus flexible thing. I also like how you can do fixed when your opponent can do tactical. Yeah, like you can you can choose what to oh, do. Right. And yeah. It's a lot cooler. I, I like that the psychic has kind of been rolled into the sort of shooting phase of things because I forgot that so many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an ability or it's a shooting or it's a melee thing. It, it's not just a whole phase. Yeah, it has been working well. I don't like how Death Guy don't have Disgust and Resilience. <laughs> I like that World Eaters can get it, though. Black Templars can get it. Come on. The whole army of Black Templars can have it. What? How does that yeah, work? Yeah, it's one of their vows, isn't it? Yep. What? That they're disgustingly resilient? So they have Feel No Pain across the board. Yeah. Okay. All right. So they probably call it some kind of, you know... Well, Disgust and Resilience was Feel No Pain. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I always just called it "feel no pain" because yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not bitter. What is it? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. What else happened this year? The lion came out. Thank God we could shut up, Michael. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Thank lion came back, and his model was cool, and his book was really cool. Like he came back, and they gave him cool lore. Like, yeah. he came back and he was like, actually, I was a shit father. I'm going to be a better person. It's like, oh, hey, character growth. Nice. That's what happens <laughs> when you sleep for a long time. Yeah, he had a, he had a big nap and he woke up and was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then he met the Blood Angels and it, they were like, oh, hi. So yeah. I'll be very curious to see where it goes from there. Not only was a cool miniature, but we talked about this earlier. It had four different head to choose from it wasn't you yeah. were fixed to, and even the weapons you had a bit of choice in the weapon um no not really that's the uh the 30k one the 30k oh, one okay. has two different weapons and two different heads there you go i knew something i'm interested to see what happens when he meets up with bobby yeah because um they yeah. weren't huge fans of each other imperium <laughs> secundus and all of that yeah 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 fucking yeah, well it's like you know in the book right um, the I mean, only it's... Primarch that he thinks like has bad thoughts about basically is Bobby G like he has a couple of moments where he's like oh that reminds me of my fucking brother god he was annoying like shit <laughs> like that <laughs> and it's like oh oh buddy <laughs> <laughs> Jim Jack good evening Jim Jack's well, just well, saying hello to the good looking gentleman's club here where, where? Is, he, uh, uh, is he watching the Rot channel <laughs> has he got the video on <laughs> It's podcast. <laughs> we got faces Next for a podcast. Record. It's brilliant. Yeah, I've always been told I had a face for radio. Yeah. Uh, but that was exciting to bring out a new Primark. And it seems to be what they tend to do, bring out one, maybe two Primarks per edition. Yeah. So uh, we'll probably get like Fulgrim and oh, we're getting Fulgrim. Sanguinius next edition. <laughs> Sanguinius is dead. <laughs> yeah, but you know. No. no. So was Yarrick. No, <laughs> so was no Yarrick. body. There was a body of Sanguinius. <laughs> yeah. Horus will come oh, back. I mean, you could always go. Horus will come back. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of. It's, I'm kind it's of Fulgrim. expecting. It, it's going to be like Fulgrim and maybe so, Russ. Just it so, be fucking Fulgrim. Okay, My so God. a little side note. Now you know, with all the new codexes they're coming out, that the front cover is the same cover as the ninth edition covers you've all picked up on that right good no i haven't okay 
Yep. So anyone buying ma- books not from the official site, just be wary. You might be getting a ninth edition version. So they brought out the sl- data slate of all the releases coming up in the next few months, and you know that um, well, Ad Mech and Mech Ad Mech and all stuff has all come out. The last one they've got listed up is got uh, redacted written across it, so you can't actually see a cover. The theory is you can't see the cover because it's a brand new codex that hasn't been released before, like an Emperor's Children's book. That nah. is that is the theory. Nah. A, a lot when, of my Chaos Space Marines are purple. Mm. Yeah. When, when was that book slotted for? Uh, I think our winter. Like 2025. Winter. Yeah. Like 2025? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, because, like, 20, they should, they're not going to do Fulgrim next year. Like, you wouldn't release a fucking resin one, then the plastic one, within a year of each other. That'd be stupid. That'd be as dumb as releasing one Imperial Knights Codex a year. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do it. Don't worry. Right. Oh, well, next, next month we'll do our prediction. That. That'd be mine. Um, but, yeah. That's a theory because we're not seeing a cover of that codex, and every other codex is the same one from Ninth. That's why we don't see that cover. Yeah, no, they've, they've actually redacted it because the codex cover is just a giant picture of Fulgrim's dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, they finally uh, admitted there are female Necrons and it's just boobs galore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the Iron Nips dynasty. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think they're allowed to do that. Because didn't they can the Slaneshi models because of that? Yes. No, yeah. Because of iron nips. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold, all right. Um, cold metal necrons. So, where were we? <laughs> A lion came out. Yeah, yeah. It's a... <laughs> the lion came out. Um... So, the next. We'll do our predictions next month, obviously, but the next one, there'll be another one coming, and I, I reckon it'll be Fulgrim. There's been so much talk. I know the new one for 30k came out, and we all went, oh, but you can't use it for 40k. Yeah, oh. when, when they teased it and went, this is coming out, in that post, they said, this is not going to be in 40k. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, we know what you're going to say, and shut up. <laughs> Because they're making one for next year, for next winter. That's why. <laughs> Alright, what else happened this year? Oh, we had the exciting Dice in the Bowl event. One of the largest tournaments. Yes, Although well, that wasn't really <laughs> Games Workshop themselves. No, no, it wasn't, um, but it was exciting. <laughs> it was. Um, we I also did. had, like... Dice in a Bowl? Yeah. yeah. The guy who was cheating. The guy was sitting. He was in the toilet, but they floated. (laughs) 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 They they stayed in the bowl. Oh, good God. Absolute dumb shit. Absolute, absolute (laughs) geniuses. Yeah. So that was was exciting. So that was that. Was that LVO? Or. It's one of the largest ones. It was a big one. Yeah, it was a big one. We've had a few cheating or questionable um, things happen at events this year uh, even the last big tournament there was some questionable antics in one of the matches um, yeah it's, it's the last game we had you know you got red carded oh, fuck off <laughs> <laughs> I got that wooden duck at Ryan <laughs> um, now the last Big match. There was a controversy over the last final match about uh, movement. So yeah, people not quite doing the right thing. So uh, I just found the last year there just seemed to be a lot more talk about uh, these questionable players. The tall of the dice is my favourite, of course, because you know hide the evidence. Why um, not just put them in the bin? I, I just I, eat them. Uh, Man, people who use like rigged dice do dumb shit. I I know. I remember one year at CanCon, um, everyone went off to lunch, yeah. and one of the tables had a, just a set of dice sitting there that were not near anyone's gear, and there was a set of fucking uh, rigged dice that they just left there. They had they were and like someone picked them up and was like, you know, these. I think they had too many fives on them or something. Like they weren't too many fives. Dice. It's pretty like, honest. 
they were, they were they were obvious enough. I can't remember what the problem was. It was many years ago. Yeah. But the problem was obvious enough that someone noticed that they were like loaded or rigged or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, and someone had just left them sitting on the table. They couldn't Fine. figure out whose they were because they weren't sitting with someone's gear, but they were on one of the tournament tables. Uh, nice. Uh, Jim Tax just, just sorry. Go on. Sorry, and the guy just left them there when he went off to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> well, he knew they weren't going to flush, so where else are you going to put them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Jim Tax just mentioned that who hasn't been caught out trying to add an extra inch in measurements before? So. <laughs> and he also thinks 2024 needs more toilet dice. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I've seen some That's of the your models. prediction. <laughs> some, some, of the, some of the dice that Games Workshop have released can go in the toilet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Some of them are very badly designed. <laughs> I like the Death Guard one. Back off! Oh, you do. <laughs> I'm still dirty about the Orc dice. Yeah, I also don't like those Orc dice. They're hard to read. Uh, I don't like yeah. the Salamander ones either. They're hard to read. Yeah. Um, I I've got a set of Underworlds ones which are impossible to read. Did you take them out of the packet? No, I just use them because I win with them, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> They're so hard to read, but I know what it says. That says a I six. I can't believe you can't see yes, that, right? Yeah, I win I a see. lot of games. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, so there's a bit more... I think tournaments... Uh, well, we played our first tournament, didn't we, Adam? Yes, we did. So thanks to Scotty D for dragging us into that world. We had a lot of fun. Still came last place. And only because I got a win, only because I played you. <laughs> it was, yeah, the results, we won't rave home about them, but it was fun. Oh, no, I will. I came last. <laughs> and got a prize, so yeah. Dead last. <laughs> I do like how they've got a middle-of-the-road prize, so the person who came... Dead smack in the middle of the competition gets a prize as well. So that's quite good. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, I was going to say, Epic! Epic's back! Kind of. <laughs> Tiny little Epic for 30k. Yep. I mean, to be fair, original Epic was for 30k as well. Stop with your fairness. I don't want to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is GW. When are they ever fair? Yeah, they also uh, killed Aeronautica Universalis, didn't they? Aeronautica Imperialis? Yeah. But you I can use those. On... But you can use those in Epic, though. I think you can. Same with the Titanicus, whatever one that one was. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Adeptus Titanicus works for there. I, I, that, that's a game that I look at. and I'm like, man, I should buy that. I really want that, but I'm never gonna fucking play it. <laughs> so I've, I've thus far managed to not buy it yet. Holy <laughs> shit! Have, Who had that prediction? Been... Yeah. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> well, well, you would have been the that guy, that one guy who bought it. I mean, I've seen a lot of people buying it to paint the models. I've seen a lot of really cool little dioramas used with the tiny little models. Oh, but, but, <laughs> but are they in this country? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so they bought an epic. Um, but is Epic Epic is only for heresy, so it's only the Imperial forces. Uh, is that correct? I, I mean, there's heretics as well. <laughs> oh, sorry. When I'm yeah, well, Imperial I mean, forces like, the good and the bad ones better. Yeah, it's the the humans. It's all. Humans. <laughs> but yeah, not Xenos. Yeah. Yeah. So you can reenact the Horus heresy. Yeah. In a large scale. In, in little scale. In yeah, large little scale. That makes sense. Hmm. I do like the minute the the space friends of the new one are a bit bigger than just putting a you know put them on, on a paper clip and dip it in paint and let them dry. You, you can actually do a bit more with them with these ones. So well, I mean, they've got a dot or a stripe on them. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I remember being able to paint some details on mine. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was painting them with a pin, but <laughs> yeah, I remember trying to do that with a pin or a toothpick and trying to dot and stuff and go, oh my god, look how we've grown. What else happened yeah. this year, folks, listeners, viewers? What else has happened this year? Uh, to talk about? Hank made noise about making a TV series. Hank made noise. It got signed. 
So if we are talking about Hank, we are talking about uh, The Witcher, of course. Uh, well known as Hank. Um, yeah. Listen to episode 69? No? Nice. 68. One of those. <laughs> we'll talk about Hank all day. So yes, the announcement that he is leaving The Witcher. Uh, he was dumped as Superman, but it's okay. He is going to do a Games Workshop 40k uh, television series with cinematic universe apparently cinematic <laughs> universe uh, that's what they were making noises about Amazon wasn't it mm-hmm. yeah yes they signed the contract today but they're expecting like two to three years to get anything made in the meantime just watch John Hurt in the 40k animated movie <laughs> <laughs> I still watch I watched it the other day actually because I think we mentioned it was like, I'm going to watch it again I did check out uh, Hammer and Bolter uh, and the yep. first two episodes of Pariah Nexus and um, some of that content's not bad. <gasps> Look at him go. All mm. right, so Warhammer Plus still had not a lot of content regarding original animated content, but Surprise. <laughs> the content they did have, such as, uh, what did you just call it? <laughs> Hammer Pariah and Bolter. Nexus. Pariah Nexus is the one I want to talk about. Yeah. You'll never guess why. Um, it was very beautiful and very green. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and, and they did bring some of those elements in from like Astartes and stuff into that one too, which I appreciated. Yeah, and it wasn't just a marine either, or a full faction of marines. It was just the one. Um, mm. It was a more focus was actually on the sister of battle on that, mm. um, which is nice. And the terror that is living in the forty k universe. Mm. It's not worth it, folks. Just don't do it. Uh, but what else of that forty Warhammer Plus? The app. The app's actually quite good. We were surprised at how good the battle app is. Even the the uh, rule index is actually pretty good. Except the search function is still shit. It is behind a paywall though. Yep. And it is just the AOS one's reskid. <laughs> <laughs> but it works! <laughs> which, which we were okay for, with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were, our line was know, as long as it works and is good and contains like the codexes and stuff. Does it, or do you have to add your codes to get your codexes in it? You got to add the codes. It now you do, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Once as soon as the index is gone, you'll need the code for the codex to unlock the space marine codex and stuff like that. But the yeah. good thing is, it is a live rulebook, so it updates all those Q and A's and stuff like that, and the data slates yeah. get updated in the app. Which, um, which is fantastic. That was something I was calling for for ages because even when you were buying like the PDF copies and stuff off GW Direct, you were still having to yeah, yeah. back it and you know all of the rest of it. Yeah. So on the flip side of that, they brought out data cards for all the units. We Awesome! Except they're not live updated, are they? <laughs> <laughs> no. it's pretty hard to live update physical cards yeah yeah, yeah. and well, they could just allow you to print off your own ones off the app which you've already I put mean, in the code for your codex that already has cards <laughs> it, you, you, you get am I, am I speaking too cards? much logic yeah. here yeah you're, you're thinking yeah. not enough money being spent logic mark <laughs> How can you how can you line some poor poor suffering GW exec's pocket if you don't give him money? Well, I think it was one thing they didn't do very well was the index cards, data cards, because there were a lot of errors when oh, they came there out. There were a yes. lot of mistakes, and they also came out like right before the Marine Codex, yeah, came out, like, which meant they just needed to release a new one for yeah. the Marines. Because I have both. <laughs> Uh, they are super handy though. Like those. Oh my god, really, they're brilliant. Really useful. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, it includes. It, it's not just your units. It's also like all your rules and all that stuff. Except like, for stratagems and everything. Yeah. No stratagems, is they? Not in the new data cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the index you got them, but not the new data cards. I bought yeah. the ones for the space marines. That was like buying a bloody ex. ex- oh my god. 
word. Buying a very big book. Cyclopedia. Cyclopedia. There you number. go. <laughs> I like words. It's like I don't rely on them to do a podcast. Um, but yeah, you can knock someone out with the Space Marine one there. It's a pretty oh, big. Yeah. It's pretty big. Yeah, I, I think I picked up like the Marines, the Death Guard, the Necrons, and the Votan. And the Necrons, Death Guard, and Votan was not as thick as the Marines. Yeah. Like all three of them were like. <laughs> yeah. I did for the indexes utilize uh, Kmart's photo booth thing and then just because they're, all the indexes were free. Yep. So I went, yep, I, thank you. That worked out. I well. utilized the color printer at work. Yep. For indexes. I love how there was lots of threads on what kind of cardstock to use to print. <laughs> <laughs> but they are brilliant and I think that's a great addition again that's an AOS thing right yep yeah, yeah. and oh, yeah. for the win uh, so what we don't like though it's the point system is just a large power level oh yeah Mate, renaming points to power level I mean renaming power level to points yeah. is fucking stupid and I don't like it not a fan <sighs> and everything having all upgrades for free yeah, yeah. that's power level yeah <laughs> that's what we're talking about mm. yeah it's it's shit and you do have I mean, to wonder at that point is there even a point offering options at that point i mean some units have fairly choicey options but you know it's like i was saying with the votan right you know all of the all of their special weapons are the same cost, but that Gatling gun from the kill team is the best one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so you would have no reason to pick any of the others. Hence, well, some of one of those options, the original um, uh, volley gun or whatever it is, um, it's a worse version of that Gatling gun. <laughs> it's just that one, but worse. And the only reason you would take it is because you can actually get that. You can't get the Gatling gun. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> like it's a go buy the kill team to get the model. <laughs> yeah. They, look, they have put some limitations on, so only one or two models can have the special weapon. So you don't have a full tactical squad running around with plasma cannons. Oh, that's yeah. hell blasters. Um, it's a, yeah, yeah, you have to create a unit to have all the fancy. Yeah, weapons. no, you must spend more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I think the vehicles is one is the ridiculous one. You go the Rhino, the average little Rhino now has so many guns hanging off it. It's a, it's a transport. It's only got a missile launcher. It's got two combi bolters. It's got. It's just meant to get someone to point A to point B and hopefully don't explode. Well, hang on. I mean, it's two it's combi always... bolters and a missile launcher. They've had that since like second. Yeah, but free. Oh. That's what I'm saying. You don't. Yeah. It used to have um, a hunter killer one... missile. It used to have like one storm bolter because it used to have two individual bolters originally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it became a storm bolter. Yeah. And then you could put an extra storm bolter on it. Yeah. And you have the one you... shot hunter killer missile. Yeah. Or which have is no longer one if you're a marine. Yeah. If you're a chaos marine. So. And I never, I never bothered with any of the add-ons. No, because, because they cost I points. Could, well, because I could just put a tactical squad in the um, in the rhino and yeah. shoot from the top. Yeah. Fire out the top with the boys. Yeah, no, just because cost points, I didn't put them on. I said, oh, I got to keep under two thousand points. Well, now it's free, so I'll just blue tack it on and be done with it. So it's harder to be WYSIWYG now without. Sorry, you can still be WYSIWYG, but you won't have all the special weapons that you could have got for free. <laughs> you won't be as WYSIWYG as the others. Yeah, that's it. And I want to be more WYSIWYG than the others. <laughs> well, so Old World. Anything happened with Old World this year? Uh they dripped <laughs> the drip continues uh there was a really cool leak that i got very excited about because i want to buy more of those tomb king skelet warrior boxes yeah um, wasn't something about bretonians though as well yeah there is but no one cares about bretonians tomb kings <laughs> brah tomb kings <laughs> i haven't leaked the, the, the bretonians box so no one cares about that yet but they're probably just going to be the same like i think they were talking about it. it's probably going to be like the plastic man at arms stuff like that yeah um so a lot of the old models will be back. Oh, I wish but they'd make the skeletons the two... more dynamic, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dumb 
dumbest thing is the bigger bases because I'm gonna have to rebase my. Hey, you've got to have your jump skeletons and, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the, the pose so, on the rock. Some skeletons yeah. doing thriller. Um. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, they're, they're just gonna replace all the skeletons with Primaris skeletons. <laughs> yeah, they'll be slightly taller and more yeah. expensive. Yeah, yeah, they also have bone rivers. Less weapons options. <laughs> Uh, I think buddy meters are still trying to work out how to pan in blue. Uh. Oh, but yeah, like I think they're they're still making noise about how old world is nowhere near coming out. Yeah, they so, also confirmed that a bunch of armies aren't going to be in it. Basically. Oh wow! I hope the cast walls with their funny hats are still there. <laughs> nah, it's pretty much um. I, I, I just... think that ship sailed a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's like um. The undead Bretonians uh, Empire. There's a very limited. So the range orcs would have to be there. Skaven, a, a dwarf. Very limited. No, like the Skaven aren't one of the bit one of the ones that they're putting. Like they they're all gonna they're gonna release rules for all of them, but a lot of the armies are not getting new models because they're so, not part of the story they're trying to tell. I was going to say it feels like it's basically any army that hasn't got an AOS equivalent because there's no Bretonia. There's no. Um, Un- oh, there is undead. There's yeah. lots of undead for AOS. Isn't there? Yeah, lots of different undead. undead yeah. Um, yeah, but, um, undead. yeah, like they were very. It's a, it's a very limited palette of what they're doing in the original release. Yeah, okay. So it seems like they're going to be releasing campaigns for yeah, it. Yeah, here's a new army. Uh, so yeah. it's, it, it's it it feels very much like if this is successful, we might do more. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Um, but a lot of people were mad that their army of choice isn't going to be part of one of the armies that gets a lot of support. I want my dwarf organ gun. Come on. Yeah. Where, where's my Cathayans? Release Cathayans. Total war <laughs> did it, you cowards. <laughs> Is this one of those cases of, hey, we found a bunch of our old moulds from uh, that, that didn't wind up in the skip, um, so we'll use them? I yeah. mean, they, 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 they had the old moulds still. Yeah. Um, but what it is is they've realized from 30k that you can get away with running like a niche specialist secondary line and it will yep. be successful so i think that's why they've brought back old world like this speaking of niche secondary lines how's aos this year i like it i've been enjoying it there's been no no substantial changes to it that's why fuck with something that works is my opinion what they've thought with it but let's be honest, AOS doesn't seem to have the rabid fan base that 40k does where we've got to change to make as a reaction to this, which causes a change to react to that, which causes a change to react to this. It's it's just puttering along. And yeah. I, I, I'm i trying to think, have I heard anyone uh, in conversations that I've been a part of or mini tawnies or even just out on the subreddits where everyone's going, oh, fuck, it's just puttering along it's 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 the ugly stepsister of 40k we all know that the people who play it that's why it gets left alone at least it's not a red-headed ugly stepsister <laughs> I don't fucking read it. Yeah. Oh. But there yeah. you go that's our year's content of aos done <laughs> as, as you guys know though i've i've stopped playing aos at the moment because i'm playing underworld and that's actually getting a lot of attraction and it's gaining a lot of strength because it is 35, 45, 60 minute games. There's war bands coming out every three or four months. The rules are being refined. And I do mean that. They're not being changed ad hoc glory changes. It, it is a, a refining of this nice tale, by the way. I know. Right? It's very distracting, oh. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I keep, I keep staring at it. Yeah. Well, this, this, this first thing that's really got my attention. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've been playing Underworlds, and it's. It is a smooth game for someone who, at the moment, for those who don't know, I've got a bit of a back injury, which means I can't stand or sit for very long periods of time. There we go. I, mean, I can get a game out of the way in, uh, was it, three of us played a game on last Monday, which I thought we were podcasting, played two games in two and a bit hours, and they were full three-turn games of four activations each. Makes sense if you play the game, but yeah. it's quick, it's easy, um... And there's a lot of, I think, a lot of focus for that because G-Dub's actually listened to people. So they, they tried to push out the releases saying, um, make it the card collection game like Magic. And people go, no, no, we like, here's the deck you get with your Warband. Yeah. Fuck all that. Leave that, leave that for the ones who want to go crazy. Yeah. For the collectors like Mike, who's probably got every, if you played it, Mike, you probably would have every different 
um, okay. rivals deck for all the things. But for people like me who just want to get in, drop a warband with its relatively deck, great fun game. Yeah, and it's growing. It is growing quite a lot. Three air games is easy to fit, and we did that on the other weekend, didn't we? Adam? And yeah. it took um, fourteen hours. Yeah. <laughs> They yeah, were technical so, issues to ex- that extended at that time. Don't <laughs> blame so. yourselves. You're not technical issues. Uh, we were a technical issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was another thing that, that they kind of did this year. Uh, Combat Patrol rules. Yes. Which I don't... I haven't played. I don't think any of us have played. No, but, so um, these... It's, it's cool that it's an option. I, these, I like the sound of it. <laughs> yeah, so these are special rules of the game to match the Combat, uh, combat Patrol boxes. Yeah. Yeah. So when you got the Combat Patrol box, it was a different game, slightly different to normal 40k. So you can play straight out of the box in a mini game style. Yeah, it's Alpha Strike but for 40k. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was different. Um, was boarding actions this year? Or was that la- that was last year? Uh, I thought it was this year. No, I think boarding actions was pre tenth. Wasn't it? It was definitely that was pretty part of Arcs of Omen. That was Arcs of Omen. It was Arcs of Omen. See, nothing yeah. important happened in Arcs of Omen. <laughs> um, all right. What else has happened this year? Good or bad or indifferent? Um, Games Workshop said that they made a whole lot of money, and so they like gave bonuses to a bunch of their employees. Yeah. Uh, and then the shareholders got pissed, and their stock value went down. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that part. I knew about the yeah. bonus. So I thought that's a very generous bonus. That's yeah, quite nice. Imi- basically, almost immediately after announcing that, their share value went down because their investors are dickheads. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I th- do you think they're very su- generous uh, bonuses because they were earlier this year in a little bit of trouble on how they treated their staff? Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> they were trying to buy back some goodwill. Um, but apparently investors didn't like it. There's a suspicion that that's why they have today announced that they signed the contract with Amazon because they're trying to get, the get back, back some up. of their share value. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you think Fair Hank enough. will do it? He's a rabbit. He'll do it. At least he's got respect for the uh, setting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Electronic World of 40k. We had Dark Tide. That's this year or last year? Yeah, oh, it was Dark Tide this year. I think it, it was. was this year. Yeah. That was. was a lot of fun when it ran. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, was it I bad? played like fucking three games of it because my internet is shit. And every time I well, it was a combination of my internet being shit and their servers being shit. Uh, and I just hadn't gone back to it because yeah. I was like trying to figure out if any of you guys were playing or what was going on well, uh, I, I and it just kind of never happened off the back of you guys uh, woes with it so I was just like uh, you know what I might just hold out for Rogue Trader so, I, had no, I had no problems with it and yeah. actually, it was quite a good game quite I didn't fun. play it and Anthony didn't have any problems I definitely had problems with mine but it seems to be stable now so I haven't yeah. changed anything but it seems to be stable now um very popular game. It basically was Vermintide, but with bolters. Um, so good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I still love Vermintide. Um, so that was good. Space Spring 2. That's been promised for how long? And that's been out for how long now? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. So yeah, but, but Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader's out, yes. Rogue Trader is real fucking good. Do like. <laughs> See? As we I don't need you. words. You can you, you can check held. multiple types of Eldar. Good game. <laughs> Just make sure it's not a Drakari. <laughs> no, there is one of them is a Drakari. Oh no. <laughs> Five romance options. One is a Drakari, one is an Eldari. <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, there's a very addictive mobile game called Tacticus. That that uh, that that's. Is it is it addictive? Is it? I good? keep getting ads for it. Yeah, I've, I've seen ads for it. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Uh, I play it, and yes, I'm addicted. <laughs> Not as badly addicted to raid that that one. That that's got yeah, that's got most of my time. But that's not 40k. So we'll move on. 
Yeah. Here's my link. No. <laughs> yeah, so I was about to say, how have we not gotten a Raid Shadow Legends fucking sponsor? <laughs> I was offered. <laughs> so uh, I did get an offer to um, do that. I went, uh, I basically oh, just started. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got in my uh, streamlabs over here. There's a Raid Shadow Legends section for yeah, because they did contact me. So there you go. I didn't follow up on it because I didn't know That's what I was doing at the time. Yeah. But Tacticus, <laughs> not Raid. <laughs> We're talking about 40k. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, Tacticus. Oh, they're right. They're bringing out Admech at the moment. It's, it's very exciting. It's addictive because you're trying to get the next character. Yeah. Damn it. Got to catch them all. That's my problem in Rogue Trader. I keep trying to get to the next character. Yeah. It's harder to get an Admech into a Pokeball, though. Oh, no, Admech, it's easier than some others. Try and get the Orc in there. They're retractable. Yes. Just gotta, like, cover them out oh, and look! Say, go, go, get we off. can't talk about Admech and what's happened this year without talking about the Inspector Gadget. Admech oh, Gadget. <laughs> I saw that and I thought, where's Spider Man coming in to oh, fight? The stilts, Man. guys. Yeah. <laughs> I think my funny, the funniest part about it, every time I see one of the like tabletop t- titans or them when they use it, you can see the look on their face just going, "Why?" I see. Why? To me, <laughs> some motherfucker on stilts is just synonymous with 40k because when I started playing in second edition, yeah, every motherfucker with a shock attack gun had a orc. We had, had an orc with a fucking telescopic legs yep. with a shock attack gun. And he would telescope up, fire the gun over the hill, telescope back down. So I yep. was like, what? That's just 40k. One of the reasons I played orcs was the craziness, the uh, the mono wheel and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, shit. I had my tank bus, instead of carrying mines, they were carrying balloons. And so, yeah, <laughs> that was Looking the fun part. Thing, yeah. Fuck it. it looks like he's got an exhaust pipe coming out of his ass. In it's, one uh, of the it's Inspector Gadget and 40k. That's all I see. Now, I can't believe no one has said it yet, but let's talk about the lovely new update to the GW website. Oh, I haven't actually used the website since that update. Nobody has used the website since that update because you can't. Yeah, I've got qualifications in website, usability, designability, the whole kit and fucking caboodle. I look at this and go, this does not meet any of the W3C standards in the world whatsoever. It is a dog's breakfast of a joke. Yeah, it's atrocious. It shit. And the, the sheer fact that the price add to cart floats over everything. It's yes! <laughs> it does. No, it's, it's... No, in, no insight navigation. You have to go back to shop, click, click, click. It is a debacle in usability. Wow. Yeah, it, he's and not I, wrong. <laughs> Oh, I, I yeah. was one of the poor I'm bastards that used to have now. to go through websites for governments, particularly the the Olympics, the immigration ones, and we were, you know, we were taught how to pull all this part for screen readers for just general usability. This thing fails all the stuff that I've got built up in my browser to automatically check for it. Yeah, the funny it's... part is they did it this way to be more mobile friendly. Mm. It is not mobile friendly. No. It's oh. barely PC friendly. <laughs> my iPad, on the other hand, really likes it. My iPad's an iPad too, so there you maybe, go. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's who they're they're catering to. Yeah. I yeah. figure like if you can iPad. afford an iPad, you can afford Warhammer. Yeah, if you can afford an old iPad, <laughs> iPad Air two, <laughs> you can play old Warhammer. Yeah. <laughs> it's shit. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, good point. That that. That was uh, a surprise that they brought that out, and it is not a good surprise. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. No. Right. yeah no. Anything else, or we start talking about the good, bad, and ugly, and wrap it up? Mm-hmm. No? Get on down. Else? Get on down. Get on down. No. No? All right. Cool. So it's been a big year. 10th edition was a big drop. Website's a big hit. Um, and games been good fun. We'll go around. We'll talk about what was the good, best good for this year. One, just one. Mark, <laughs> not safe for work. Mark, the good for this year. For me, it was finding a game that actually got me back into gaming. 
and made me interested, which is starting to rekindle, maybe, possibly, a desire to get out and play 40k again. Jeez. Here's some teeth being pulled. So what is it? Warcry, yeah? yeah? <laughs> Underworld. What is it called? No, Underworld. Underworld, yeah. Warhammer Underworld, yeah. yeah. Uh, safe work, Mark. The good. The good um, non-bullshit Primarchs. <laughs> Michael, the good. Finally got the fucking lion. <laughs> Can I add that as my good? He finally got the fucking line. Yeah, I know, right? He finally got the fucking line. Adam! Angron. Was that this year? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right at the start, wasn't it? And then the new... Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, for me, the good... A tenth. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's just such a good... I won't say balance because that's a dirty word in 40k. It's just a really good, easy, flowing game to play at the moment. And I say at the moment because we all get creep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, uh, good, the bad, the bad! Uh, we'll start uh, with Adam this time. Angron. <laughs> what? <laughs> turn one. He's, he's, a, he's a good character, but he dies first turn. Everyone picks on him. <laughs> uh, Michael, the bad. Uh, the launch. <laughs> the launch of 10th edition, yep. Safe for work, Mark. I don't know. There's nothing really that jumps out at me as the worst thing. It's all just normal <laughs> jittery, really. <laughs> Not safe for work, Mark. Same as safe for work, Mark. But for me, the, the only thing that really jumps out at me is the re-release of old models for uh, uh, sorry, re-release of new models for old characters. You go, man. Why? I don't want to go and buy new shit for the same ones I've already got. Actually, but I mean, that's what they do. Exodites. <laughs> the, the the show with the towel. That yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, and you just mentioned it's that website. That is probably the worst thing they've done all year. Is that website? Yeah, yeah. it's shit. It is so bad. Uh, the ugly. Oh well. <laughs> uh, the, the website. <laughs> the release. Yeah, Watch the, the podcast with the pictures. That's, no. that's that's pretty ugly. Quality control on the products that they release, the written products that they release. That's a huge bugbear for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the ugly for me, I think um, cheating seems to have got a higher profile this year than I can remember in other years. Mm. Uh, Adam? Oh, I'd have to say, you know, while it's good, but the ugly is trying to keep track of sustained hits what are they you know just even just the keywords just trying to work out what they do and trying to remember because there's so many of them sustained hit little hits devastating words yep the other problem Mm. they have though is that those things are an evolving concept too so not only do you have to learn half a dozen of them yeah Yeah. Mm. exactly (laughs) which only hurt Really, custodies and not the old diary, which, which was the intent. Sh- <laughs> should have been changed in the first place. It should never have come out the way it was. No. And then, yeah, you got sustain hits, sustain hits, D1, D3, D6. Yeah. You know, you, you go, oh, oh. Michael the Ugly. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Michael the Ugly. <laughs> uh, Warhammer Plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did the marks give those? Did you give your uglies? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Safe for work? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you said excellent. What'd you say for ugly? You disagree with someone else? Uh, yeah, the website. The website. <laughs> it is pretty ugly. <laughs> All right, there you go, folks. We've had a look back at the year. Overall, do we think it's a good year for GW? Uh, so, so, year, or a, oh my god, what were you thinking year for GW? I'm just going to be honest so, with me. Sorry, let me go. Yeah, I was going to say, let, I'll put this differently. Is it a good year for GW? Is it a good year for tournament players? Is it a good year for hobbyists? Business as usual. Bit of shit, bit of good for everything. Yeah. Michael? Um, look, I think it's been overall a good year for uh, the hobby. Um, I feel like... I, I haven't been paying enough attention to the tournament scene, but I don't think they've had a big 
problem. It's just, I feel like we've heard more about the cheating because there hasn't been other things to talk about. Like, I'd be surprised if there's more cheating than there was before. Yeah. Um, and apparently the shareholders think it was a bad year, but uh, the profits disagree with them for Games yeah. Workshop. <laughs> so, yeah. Adam, yeah. what about yourself? I think the hobby's had a good year, you know, even though they're being recasted models, but there's always new models coming on, you know, which in turn is good day, good for GW because they're making money. But yeah, the hobby's been quite good this year. Mark, did you say something? Both of you? One of you? I did. The other Mark then? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I think this year's actually, on balance, been pretty good. Um, I mean, we've had a lot of good lore releases, a lot of good model releases. Um, you know, like we've, we are getting errata and that on the rules and, and balances being fixed and things like that. And as much as we grumble about having to remember new rules or whatever, you're not, you're not stuck in that, ah, oh, shit, every time I play X Force, I'm going to get stuffed because the rules are this and they're not changing for the next five years or whatever uh, so you so, haven't played Eldari yet so well that that's kind of been a theme of um 40k like since day one really but yeah um but i think on balance it's been a really good year i mean there's there's been some bad stuff but i mean there's always bad stuff it, it I, I think the bad that we have gotten this year isn't as bad as some of the other um, shittery that's <laughs> gone around in, in past years. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. so for me, I think, yeah, it's been a good year for GW. With 10th edition, I think it's um, been really good. Uh, the way it was handled, questionable, but I'm really enjoying the game a lot more than I was at night. I have got concerns about the, the deployment shenanigans getting out of control but we'll see what happens but i think overall hobbying yeah as you said new models has been great except for the t-shirt launches I'm not, I'm not a fan of those um yeah can't win them all uh no, it's been good i think overall hobby good tournaments well i think the tournament scenes well we're not that deep into it so who knows uh well i think i think mike is on the money there where um, because we haven't had some crazy controversy, it's like, well, yeah, some dude threw his dice in the toilet and that makes news, you know, like... <laughs> yeah, so I, you I'm think sure, it's getting more... I, I'm sure that people have done dumber stuff <laughs> in tournaments in previous years and it just never got airtime because we were like, oh, hey, there's a shiny thing over here. Or, well, you know, the fact that they're so telecast are always on Twitch and stuff like that. So yeah, if someone does yeah. something, it's easier to be caught out well, could be well, the reason as well. So they've always been cheating, but now they can be seen. But, like, the, the Las Vegas Open, I, I don't remember it being that big as far as coverage and stuff like that goes um you know like if you went back to you know early 2010s you barely heard about the thing yeah so i think that's why it's been a good year for gw because those tournaments have they've always had large numbers but i think now with the powers of twitch and etc has just become yeah and bigger. see and see with extra coverage you you see these yeah. things come and, through. and it's not necessarily an indication that there's a, a bigger problem no. than there always has I been. I don't think it's a bigger problem. There's just more noise about it. Yeah. 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 More accessibility to being seen. They're getting more advertising thanks to wonderful podcasts like us. <laughs> Sponsorship's still open. Yeah. <laughs> non paid, of course, Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, I think overall we've agreed it's been a pretty decent year. Next month we get to talk about our predictions for 2024. We were right on the money with our predictions in 2023. Yep, so on the money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see if we can get better. I want to thank everyone who's listening to us. Thank you for joining us this year. We really appreciate it. We've had a lot of fun, haven't we, folks? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah, it's that was convincing. Good. It's been good. <laughs> So we'll do this again next year, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got to see how bad our predictions are for next year. <laughs> yeah. Very good, very good. That's the enthusiasm we love to hear. 
In the meantime, uh, um, you can catch us on our social medias. Uh, um, Mark, so, say for, not say for work. Mark has a social media. Yeah, it hasn't been updated for a very long time. You but don't have to tell him that. No, I'm being honest. Uh, it's monolithic stuff on Instagram. Feel free to look at some really odd pictures. Um, <laughs> And regardless of when we call him not safe for work, Mark, the Instagram ones are safe for work. The other link, not so much. Adam! <laughs> Instagram, Pronto 40K. Yep, and you can find me, Red Belly Black, on Instagram. Of course, you can follow us on the Twitch channel, uh, Red Belly. You can also follow us on our Facebook page, RLG40K. What have I missed? YouTube! RLG40K. I know, we try to make it complicated. Yeah, RLG40K, everywhere but the website that dare not say its name. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very good. Uh, if you do uh, enjoy our show, you can always uh, support us uh, through you know, just hitting that subscribe button. is always welcome. It gets our numbers up, which is always helpful. Um, we do have merch. Go nuts. we got some nice stuff. Look, i got one now. Yeah, there's Barry the Bright Angel. All the podcast people trying to stare at their screen. What? What you want? What is he wearing? What is he wearing? Inappropriate. I'm wearing a Christmas shirt, so yeah. Yeah, it is the time. I'm just surprised Adam's not wearing a Christmas shirt. I've got Christmas lights going. Yeah, we can see them from my house. You uh, almost could. Michael yeah. can see him from my place. Oh, God. It's true. All right, so we're going to have a, a break but while, over the Christmas period. We'll be back in the new year. Until then, folks... Be good to each other. Play hard, play safe. And we'll get out of here, Michael. Wait. Wait. Adam, would you like to say bye? Goodbye, everyone. Max. Bye. Bye. And I'll say goodnight, too. Now, Michael can take us away for the final time this year. So, what have you done for us lately? Well, it's been a bit of a mixed year with bad websites, disappointing apps, but a new addition, a lot of cool models, and some long-awaited Primarchs came back from the shops with their cigarettes. But through the good, the bad, and the ugly, there's one thing you can rely on. You can join us next month for more Wobbly Player Syndrome.